Hi everyone, I'm Shwa Shizat and welcome you to my channel and today I'll be showing you how to create stylized text for commercial photos and thumbnail using Photoshop. So first things first, uh, let me open this uh, layer. So now, uh, first thing is to add your text. So go to this text tool and uh, write anything. For example, I'm going to write amazing features and uh, I, I will be increasing the you know to the, the, the text so that you can see the changes so we are going to add colors in this text and we will go for gradient looks so what you can do is uh, right click on it and come to the blending options and layer style dialog box will open or what we can do is just go and double click on the right side of the text layer and you will see the same layer style opening and in here come to the gradient overlay and in here you can see we will add colors or gradient to this uh, to our text so come to this gradient and uh, here it's a click to edit the gradient click on it and here you will say there are presets given so we are going to add a two color gradient to our text so select basically any preset with two colors like this uh, I'm going to select it if you click on this bottom points you can actually select any color you want just by clicking here I think I'm going to go for a lighter color in here okay and in here the right side click on it and choose a darker color darker blue color alright okay and this point that you see here you can actually uh, adjust the midpoint or the you know transition effect from the darker color to the lighter color like this so I'm going to keep it uh, like this maybe I want to add something like this okay and then okay and then you can uh, change the angle of the gradient coming in this way uh, choose whichever angle you want and finally we will have this um, let me show you this without effects so this is before and this is after what I'm going to do is uh, if you want to change this colors or adjust something else so so what can you do is come to this gradient overlay and double click on it and this layer style dialog box will open again from here you can click on it and then do the same thing in whichever way you want um, and uh, in this way you can do it okay and it's done maybe I want to decrease the text size of it yes it looks good now maybe I want to add another uh, text like um, let's say 10 plus and uh, I'm going to increase the text size let us change uh, the it into bold yes and in here I'm going to add another gradient overlay for that do the same thing just double click on the right side of the text layer and our gradient dialog box will open Come to the gradient overlay click on here and then ju just select the colors any color you want like for this case what i'm going to do is i'm going to go for um maybe blackish yes and in here yes something like this you change the transition from the darker color to the lighter color and uh, that's it click on ok I'm going to keep all the you know darker color in this position so yes, towards one side uh, and click on ok now you might want to add some shadows to this text what you can do is come to the gradient layer and again this same layer style will open come to the drop shadow and here as you can see the shadow has been applied and in here you can basically you know, change the opacity of the shadow 
and then you can play with the angle uh, the direction from where the shadow will uh, appear we decrease it a little bit and you can uh, adjust this distance uh, spread how much big or small you want your shadows to be try to keep it natural and also the size if you want it to get fade or you want it to be you know, extremely strong you can also do that and then okay maybe we will add uh, you know, shadow to the amazing features this thing also so same thing click over here and Layer style dialog box will open, come to drop shadow and here you can see the shadows already there. I want to decrease the opacity and the distance or also I want to reduce it and that's it. Maybe you want to add a border to this text. So what you can do is, let me zoom it in. Alright, so what you can do is come to the stroke option and here you see this text have beautiful borders around it you can increase or decrease the you know size of this borders but I'm going to keep it to one because it looks good uh, you can change the position outside inside or uh, center I'm going to keep it outside and also the opacity of this borders and once done click on OK I'm going to add a border to this also it looks good click on any one of them like drop shadow or gradient overlay till it appears and uh, then again add a little bit of shadow all right so let me show you the before and after so this was before and this was after some amazing looking textiles uh, maybe I want to add a text on a box as you see in many thumbnails or many you know posters so for that what we can do is uh, first I'm going to create a group and uh, keep this uh, text inside a group or we will have a problem with that yes uh, so my uh, all the text effects are inside this group all right so uh, to create the box and the text what you can do is um, come to this background copy layer and choose any tool like polygonal lasso tool hold shift and uh, give, click a point in here drag it and um, give another point basically make a box with it yes that's good now once it's done it's again very simple all you have to do is come to this tool over here and in here go to the gradient and as you can see since we have selected that uh, the box area our gradient fill is only restricted to this area so from here we will do the same maybe we will go for three colors now so choose any preset with three colors and now we are going to change all the colors like we want um, so go to this color stop this button and in here change the color I'm going for a white in here and a white in here also and going to keep this uh, middle part red and then I'm going to um, you know adjust the angle of this maybe something like this now it looks good uh, okay you can even add shadow to this box also all you have to do is um, come over come to the right hand side of this gradient fill one um, layer double click on it and as you see the layer style dialog box is open come to the drop shadow and here is your shadow then again uh, as I told you before I'm going to keep all the shadows towards right because you see the shadow of this phone and the headphones are all in the right side the light is coming from the left so just try to keep them natural that's it um, choose the opacity and uh, the distance spread just you know work with it that's it okay and then again I'm going to add text in this box all we have to do is come to text and type um, what can I type here uh, maybe um, brand 
new. My God, it's all out. And uh, let's decrease it because it's humongous. Yeah, brand new. Now bring it over here. Looks good. I'm going to change the gapping between these letters so for that. Uh, select the text come to this logo properties if you don't see properties then make sure to go to the windows and uh, in here you will get the properties uh, make sure to keep it checked and uh, come to the properties increase this uh, this logo this kerning logo and uh, yes uh, basically that's the way to uh, create gap between the letters now if you want to change its color very simple just uh, select it I'm not going to go for any gradient over here because it will look very, you know, haphazard. All I'm going to do is come to the here and uh, just select something like white. And uh, let's see. I'm going to keep it black because it's it, it's looking more good. And uh, so this is how you create a stylized text uh, on your photos or on your thumbnails. I'm going to uh, select this gradient fill one and this brand new text layer and, and drag it in the group one. So let me show you the before and after. This is before and this is after. So that's it for today guys. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and I will be meeting you on my next video. Till then take care. Bye.